Morning everyone, back onto this squirrel feeder which I shot uh, not so long ago. I managed to get seven squirrels and two wood pigeons. Not expecting a lot because I wasn't expecting to come back here again for a long time but because there was a few peanuts left in the tray and these peanuts have gone I thought I'll just give it a go and see what I can get this morning. That is the rifle, fully loaded, ready to go. Squirrel has appeared on the tree. For some reason, whatever reason in this wood, the squirrels seem to appear from the top of the tree. They always run down the top, 99% of the time. Never see them come from the left, right, behind or anything. They always come from the top of this tree. And I never seem to spot them coming in. But, this squirrel is here. You can see it being very still on the bottom of the tree trunk. But as every squirrel shooter knows, they are very twitchy. So you just got to pick your moment. And I take our first squirrel with a very clean headshot. So that's a good start. And not long after that one, probably about 30 minutes after that first, another one has come in. Obviously it's come down from the top of the tree without me noticing. Not coming onto the feeder just yet. For whatever reason in this wood, they don't seem to go straight to that feeder. These squirrels seem a bit more fussy than other feeders that I shoot on. But as long as they're appearing, then I've got a job to do. This one seems a little bit a little bit edgy, a little bit anxious. It's not quite sure what to make about the dead one on the floor because it's probably just spotted it, which is why it ran back up the tree. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit just to pass a bit of time. This is my view, so I'm gauging it again. Got to make that moment of when do I take a shot. Unfortunately with that one, I actually injured it. But I managed just to get that follow up shot. So it didn't suffer for too long. Not quite sure why that happened, because rifle's usually pretty accurate, but looks as if I just had maybe a damaged pellet, a flyer, just a one off. So that's two in the bag. This is number three. This one's looking a bit more promising as it's closer to the feeder. This is what I'm hoping. I always want them to jump onto the feeder, pick up a peanut, relax, and I can just pick my moment when I want to shoot. But now this one has just spotted the dead one on the floor. Taking its time again, investigating, having a little look around because it's not quite sure then decides to go and have an even closer look. I'm certainly not happy about that squirrel on the floor. But it's investigated, looks like it's happy enough now, so it's going to go get its breakfast. So we've got our first one which has actually got onto the feeder. So that's exactly what I want. So what I'm doing right now is setting myself up into position. Once I go up onto the feeder and pick up a peanut, you know they're going to be settled. So I'm taking my time. So I know I can take that shot. So that's our third one in the bag. Last time we came to this feeder, just 
a couple of weeks ago we managed to actually get seven so that's another three here that's ten in total this one's a bit of a bleeder flapping about a lot but it was a perfect headshot and it is completely out of it and from then on wasn't much else going on it was very quiet so I've just decided to go and pick up what I've already shot and then just call it a day at that just a short one this morning just got the three squirrels I knew it was going to be pretty quiet and had to wait quite a long time to get all these three you can see they've been dead for a while because all the flies are flying about so I'm going to leave this wood now for probably about two years because it's not it's not a it's not a big wood, it's not the busiest, but I seem to be on top of them now. So cheers for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.